concerns um, and the reasons it was brought in is because of the large number of allergies that um, seem to be in impacting society. And they can be a serious, a serious thing. If you have an allergy to a food, you know, ultimately you could end up um, with anaphylaxis shock and then, you know, the serious com complications there. So we don't want those kinds of things to happen. So, um, you know, I think there's a time and a place to eat and snack and, and in most businesses and in life you can't just eat whenever you want to and school is really no different. Okay. Um, so uh, what new rules do you want to add to the school? You know, again, I'm not looking to add any new rules right now. I'd like to make just sure that we're, we're following the rules that we have and that we're consistent in enforcing those rules and students are clear on what those rules are and they're obeying them. You know, as things change and um, situations arise and new, new technology comes in and new things come into society, then you have to start making it, uh, changes at that point. So um, what is the most important ro role, do you think, like, for teachers? Like, who, like, what role should they take? I think teachers have the, the greatest role in this building to be uh, inspirational, to inspire in their students a love for learning, to inspire them to be the best that they can be, to inspire them to set goals and put pl plans in place to achieve them. So how far, like, your experience at Stone High, how do you like it? Uh, I love Stoughton. I always have. Um, I was born and raised here, graduated from Stoughton High myself, um, was a teacher here, and to be able to return to Stoughton was a phenomenal um, opportunity. I'm glad that I'm back. It feels like home, and, um, and I think that we have a lot to offer here. So what are the good things about this school? I think the, the best thing about this school is the people that are in it, both the students and the faculty that make up this building is our greatest resource. Um, there's a lot of enthusiasm, there's a lot of um, intelligence and knowledge and um, caring and support and appreciation. So I think it's the people in the building that make it the greatest thing. So what are your favorite hobbies to do, like outside of work? Outside of work? Um, well, I am an avid runner. I run a couple of marathons. Um, go to the gym a lot, I hang out with my family, um, just typical stuff. Yeah. So uh, how do you feel about Stone High School's MCAS st scores? I think that we do very well in a lot of specific areas, and, but there's always room for improvement. And um, I think that our teachers and our students work very hard. We've had a lot of success uh, on MCAS, but um, again, we're always striving to be that much better. All right, that's going to wrap up this interview. Thank you, Ms. Miller. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kaiki. I'm here with upcoming rapper Anthony Thibodeau. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. All right, let's get this thing going. Um, what made you want to become a rapper and start rapping? All right, well, I first started music when I was four years old. I, uh, I started taking piano lessons. <clears throat> I'm still doing it to this day, but... Uh, during that time, I was really just, that's when I started to become like musically inclined and just grew a passion for it. And when I was about a teenager, like 12 or 13, that's when I started actually rapping and uh, trying to pursue that. So uh, what motivates you to rap? Um, just anything really. It could be during just any point in time of the day, whatever is. Uh, whatever sparks an interest, like it could be any experience I have coming across somebody who's telling a story or just anything that really inspires me, kind of, I just go back and write about how I felt about it. So you talked about how at a young age you started music, so uh, w at what age did you actually start rapping? I started rapping at about 12, I was in middle school, uh, me and a couple of others that I still do music with to this day, we uh, had a little rap group that we didn't really take seriously, but as I went on, since I already loved music, I kind of grew an interest for it and wanted to pursue that. So, um, who did you watch growing, growing up in the music industry that inspired you? Um, the main person, the main artist I would say is Lauryn Hill. I really grew up listening to her. I loved everything about her. Uh, she really was true to herself and really inspired me to do what I love to do. Uh, 
her, Ryan Leslie, as a producer, I loved him. He uh, he was so different. His work was just <clears throat> I was a fan of. So, yeah. so we know that you're a part of Feel Good Music, but if you had any rap label that you could actually sign to, uh, where would you go? Uh, I don't really have a specific label, but really anything that would allow me uh, creative freedom. You know what I mean? That wouldn't really, that would do, I would do things that I was supposed to be doing, but also they let me have that sort of creative freedom to do what I like doing and stay true to myself. So where do you see yourself as a rapper in 10 years? Um, 10 years, I don't, I don't, I don't really see myself at a specific place, but I know that it should be somewhere special, somewhere where I've got, I've accomplished goals and just done, just stuck to the plan. So, yeah. so what things do you want people to get out of your music? The main thing that I would say I want people to get out of is <clears throat> just that they should know that they should stay true to themselves. I, uh, so I obviously do that in my work, but I really like to push that because that's really what makes people special in this world and brings out character in people. Because yeah, yeah. you see some people that like lose, like forget where they came yeah, from. Yeah, these yeah, yeah, definitely. So, so um, that's really important. How has rap music influenced you in the past couple of years? Um, it's really just taught me to be a better person and stick to my roots and just do what I believe in. And it's brought sort of a, sort of, it, it brings color to reality, really. Because it, sort of, it sort of gives a creative side of life instead of, it's kind of like the background music in, in movies and stuff, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So it kind of just makes it special, you yeah. All right, and this is going to end this interview. Thank you, Anthony Tibbs. Right, thank you. AKA A Tibbs. Search him up on Twitter, A Tibbs. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, back to you, Kaiki. Here's Mike Conley reporting from the Stoughton High Club Fair. On Monday, September 24th, 2012, Stoughton High School held a club fair at all three lunches. A representative of each club sat at each table and explained their club. If any of these clubs interest you, feel free to look into them and even join them if you wish. Reporting from the club fair is Mike Conley and Cam Williams. Thanks for watching SHS This Month. Tune in next time.